What's going on guys, just going here with a brand of the gas day coming at you with a little bit of a Nintendo Direct September 13th, 2017 highlight roundup. We're not going to be going through every single piece of news, but we're going to go through rapid fire, all the main stuff, kind of the big announcements, if you will. Some smaller announcements thrown in there as well, but uh, it's going to be a highlight of most of the stuff that I think um, are, are going to stand out to you guys the most. And, you know, the things that you guys probably would care about the most, um, at least as far as I can judge. So again, we're going to go through rapid fire, kind of give you guys some highlights not gonna waste any time because I want to give you guys as much information as possible let's get into it first off my friends Lynn is gonna be joining the fight in Fire Emblem Warriors if you guys are uh, excited for Fire Emblem Warriors you'll be pleased to know we got a brand new character that's gonna be joining the fight which again is going to be Lynn next up Minecraft for new Nintendo 3ds is gonna be uh, out right now so if you guys want to go pick it up on your new Nintendo 3ds pick it up right now again it's uh, apparently only out for the new Nintendo 3ds probably because it's uh, a little bit too uh, too heavy on the on the CPU and on the GPU to play on the old 3DS since the new 3DS has a, a faster processor and things like that. Um, carrying on, Breath of the Wild Champion Amiibo are coming out November 10th. How about that? How about that? So the Breath of the Wild Champion Amiibo you guys heard about before coming out November 10th. Um, basically, when you scan in the Amiibo, they're going to do multiple different things. One of the things it's going to do is it's going to give you uh, different kind of gear sets uh, that's going to make Make you look like each specific um, uh, dungeon if you will uh, so that's gonna be pretty cool you guys can uh, can kind of look forward to that I'm not sure exactly what they're gonna do because they didn't go into detail but I guess we'll get more detail you know as the time approaches next up on November 10th this is huge for the 3ds Mario Party top 100 basically what this is is the top 100 mini games from every single Mario Party ever compiled into one game on the 3ds how crazy is that I am so freaking hyped for that my friends and next up on the switch we got some more information regarding Kirby um, Kirby is gonna be called Kirby star allies on the Nintendo switch it's gonna be coming out early 2018 specifically spring 2018 and uh, there's a, a few more details in there you guys can catch in the actual direct but again we're just going through some of the highlights a rapid fire now moving on my friends the kelp dome the kelp dome excuse me map returns Turns to Splatoon 2 this Friday evening. You guys heard that right. So if you guys don't know, the Kelp Dome was a map in Splatoon 1. It's returning in Splatoon 2 with a few new tweaks, including some added grates and extra turf. Moving on, my friends. If you guys are Xenoblade Chronicles fans, you guys are kind of wondering, when does Xenoblade Chronicles 2 come out? You guys know. December 1st on the Nintendo Switch, Xenoblade Chronicles is going to be coming out. There's going to be a special edition coming out with it as well. You guys can look forward to that. It's going to be really exciting. Um, now, regarding the new 2DS, uh, the new 2DS XL uh, specifically, if you guys were uh, kind of hoping for the orange and white one to come to North America, look no further because it's, it's, it's coming. October 6th, you guys can find that. All right, how about some Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon, my friends? No, I know a lot of you guys are excited for it. I'm super excited for it. Uh, it says, in Encounter a Duskmane, Necrozma, and Pokemon Ultra Sun, and Dawn Wings, Necrozma, and Pokemon Ultra Moon. So basically, uh, that's kind of the like Necrozma, uh, you know, uh, evolution, I guess, of Sogaleo and Lunala. So that's pretty crazy. We got two new Ultra Beasts appearing. One of them is Ultra Beast Burst and Ultra Beast Assembly. Those are two new ones coming in Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. We also got some new Pokemon, obviously, that will be coming as as well uh, but we'll see that when the game comes out speaking of Pokemon catch the Pokeball edition new Nintendo 2DS XL on November 3rd it's gonna be coming out just uh, about what like a week or a week and a half before Pokemon Ultra Sun Ultra Moon it's basically a new Nintendo 3DS X or sorry a new 2DS XL that looks like a Pokeball how crazy is that it's pretty insane my friends on September 27th we're gonna be getting a sweet Nintendo switch game called arcade archives Mario Bros now this is basically gonna feature a bunch of Nintendo games that were actually on you know arcade machines back in the day like you know the original Mario Bros I'm not talking the NES Mario Bros I mean like the original original Mario Bros if you guys know what I'm talking about if not then you'll find out very soon my friends so we're gonna be getting that again September 27 now speaking of Mario I know you guys are excited 
with Super Mario Odyssey. We got a few different things to mention regarding Super Mario Odyssey. First off, the Amiibo. The Amiibo are going to be launching October 27th alongside the game. You guys want to know what they do? Well, if you use the Mario Amiibo, you'll gain temporary invisibility or invincibility. Sorry. Uh, if you use Peach. Uh, the Peach Amiibo, you will receive a life uh, life up heart. If you uh, use the Bowser one, again, these are the Super Mario Odyssey Amiibos, not the Smash Bros. ones, Super Mario Odyssey ones. Uh, it will reveal regional coin locations. That's pretty cool if you guys want to collect some of those coins. Um, now, this is also really cool. It says uh, these costumes can also be acquired without Amiibo as you progress through the game. Now, the other thing, you can talk to uh, talk to for clues and hint toad for hints. So that's also really awesome as well. The other cool thing, you can take detailed photos in this new kind of snap mode in Super Mario Odyssey. Uh, it's called snapshot mode. You can rotate it, zoom it, crop it, add filters, create your perfect kind of picture. And this is gonna be amazing for YouTubers, especially to create, you know, uh, thumbnails, things like that. Or if you guys want to make your own kind of, you know, really cool like wallpaper, either for your computer or for your, uh, your phone or whatever, you guys can do that as well, which is gonna be pretty awesome. Awesome, my friends. Now, we got two brand new kingdoms finally confirmed for Super Mario Odyssey. The first one is the Seaside Kingdom, my friends. I told you guys it was Seaside. A lot of you guys haven't read one of my other videos saying it was Spa Side, but I told you guys it's Seaside Kingdom. Who cares? The point is we got a beautiful water kingdom. You guys can see Mario there in his swim trunks and uh, it's super vibrant, crystal clear water. It's just a beautiful kind of tropical environment, the kind of place you'd love to go and see in real life. But if you can't, you could do it in Super Mario Odyssey. I'm so excited for this uh, kingdom. We also got the Snow Kingdom, my friends. The Snow Kingdom has been revealed. Look at Eskimo Mario. I don't know if that's his name, but I'm going to be calling him Eskimo Mario from now on because he looks like an Eskimo. And so I'm, I'm a huge fan of both the snow and the water environments. The water one is my favorite, though. I, I love, 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 love tropical water environments. But they also uh, they named off nine different kingdoms in total. These two, they, 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 you know, they showed the, the Cap Kingdom. They showed, you know, some kingdoms new of before. They, they showed nine different kingdoms, screenshots of nine different kingdoms, but uh, they said they're not going to spoil it all for us, so there might be even more kingdoms at launch. Now, finally, we've got one last thing before we close off the video. Are you guys ready for this? There's going to be a special Super Mario Odyssey-themed Nintendo Switch bundle arriving on October 27th. Now, no cool designs on it. The only thing different is you get, like, a Mario Red Joy-Con. It's different than the normal neon red Joy-Cons you guys may have seen before. It's kind of a darker red, more of a, you know, again, a Mario kind of a shade of red, which is going to be coming with, um, you know, with this bundle. But you can also buy these Joy-Cons separately from what it sounds like, so that's going to be really exciting. But if you get this bundle, you'll also get this super sweet uh, Super Mario Odyssey uh, Nintendo Switch carrying case as well. One other thing I forgot to mention earlier, there's going to be a special Xenoblades Chronicles uh, 2 uh, Pro Controller. So look at this thing. It's pretty sick, my friends. So... I like how they're making different kind of limited edition uh, pro controllers guys see the the buttons are actually they have like blue writing instead of white writing on it and it has a bunch of cool artwork on it uh, as well as pink uh, handles so that's pretty cool as well so that is it my friends that is your Nintendo Direct uh, September 13th 2017 highlight roundup now let me know what you guys are most excited about in the comment section below and if you guys are super stoked smash the like button subscribe like comment share and all that awesome stuff I will catch you guys in the next video and like always until then game on.